What's the impact on the overall portfolio? He's market it, he is now I, essentially. He um, tell us he is Chase Coleman, uh, the man who runs Tiger. Right. By the way, this brought Never back trust memories. Never a man with two ass names. This brought back memories, and I've been uh, my old colleague Ron and Son and I when we interviewed Julian Robertson of the original Tiger. These are all Tiger Cubs. The original man who ran one of the most successful hedge right. funds, and then got into things that were not necessarily his core competency. Right. Took in so much money, got enormous, and I'll never forget our sit down many, many, many years ago. Ron and I both. I think I, he tells me I broke the story, and then he obviously knew Robertson well, and we both went and interviewed him. Historic when he was closing Tiger, and then you had these guys who are still young, but certainly were very young then, who went out. The Tiger Cubs. He's the most successful of all of them. Is Chase Coleman in many ways. Um, Breathtaking. But having a horrible year, down 52 percent or more, it may be at this point, and preventing investors in his private fund from getting out, essentially making it side pocket. He is going to allow you to redeem more than you would from the public equity side. He's also reducing fees by 50 basis points through December 2023. Why is he taking a fee at all? In quoting a letter here, we take very seriously our recent performance does not live up to the standards we've set for ourselves over the last 21 years and that you rightfully expect. Our team remains maximally motivated. He's maximally, maximally motivated. I don't know if he had been They're previously, but now he is. He's maximally fun. motivated fun. to earn back recent losses. So well, that's what we've got look, from I feel uh, bad. Chase okay, I, No, you can't feel bad for rich people. My basically. God, he's a multi-billionaire. Right. I, okay, so um, that, exactly. And it depends on where you've invested with him. They've invested in the last couple of years. But I need to know his stocks. Happy. I need They're to know happy. his stocks because i got to avoid those stocks. Well, or I gotta, is it already, I, the damage only, already done? Yeah, I've only got his last 13 nuts. I don't know what happened there. You know, a lot of it's, uh, it could be, it's on the private side as well. It's the marks there. Right. I mean, down 14 from May? Oh. By the way, i got other names, too. I, you know, I'm, I'm seeing Light Street down... Big numbers. That's another well-known hedge fund. I don't know, Jim. You would have thought many of these guys would have and ladies would have gotten out. Well, look. And I mean, there's two guys. And the way uh, the way Lafont did at Co2, you know, right. got out. Right. Said, I don't but get this market. I'm stepping aside. There's two kinds of companies that could have lost you that much money. Companies like the home builders, the steel companies, where the multiple shrunk dramatically. Right. You know, Lenar's got a five, five times earnings. Yeah. Or all these companies that came public. And they seem so interesting, right? Yeah. I mean, how about like the grill companies? Like, hey, I have a Weber. I'm going to buy the stock of Weber. Right. Well, I got a Traeger. I'm going to buy the stock of Traeger. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, there it goes. 